do it. Usually I like to get the leg and sing with Kyle today. So push forward, bulldog. I'm sitting right here. I got my leg in, I'm still pressing forward. He doesn't he can't stand up with this leg because I got a leg in there. The only leg he can stand up with is this leg. There you go. Where am I finishing? Okay. Very important with the finishes that we that we have to recognize which one to do. And how to run properly. So So if I'm just bumping his hip over, I'm matching hip to hip. Bump him over. Pretty simple. Okay, yeah, knee to the side, forehead, not both. You guys been taught that? Go away. Now. He's not bumping over, so you gotta bring him back. You don't whip him back, because you can just whip him. So, if you're going straight back, it has to be slow, tight, stay in control. So right here, he's not bumping over, I gotta go back. Stay tight. Okay, suicide cradle, got his name for a reason. You do it with your last ditch effort. This is gonna be pretty risky. Need the one where you can't bump him over, you can't bring him back. You throw your head underneath, pull him right over you. Stay tight the whole time. The second you get loose, the second I get loose, you can scramble out. So you're here, way up here. Tends to scramble. We don't want to do that. We want to stay tight with it, just like with all three of our three, all three of our finishes. Stay tight for bringing them in. If you got your different grips, you know, we have a top, gable grip, don't matter. Um, so <coughs> back in with the leg. Put the leg in. I'm trying to go for this cradle here. Get stands up. Crunch down. Pull out the leg. Finish the way you feel is necessary. You guys ready to try it? Ready? One, two, 